All right, next up, let's bring you a glimpse of what's happening in technology. Kazakhstan is planning to boost the output of metals needed for EV batteries. Kanat Sarlapev, Kazakhstan's Minister of Industry and Construction, has said the country is issuing hundreds of new exploration licenses to attract fresh investment in the sector. The country is already a significant exporter of alloy, gold and copper and is now wanting to gain market share in battery materials. This includes lithium, cobalt, manganese, nickel and graphite amid rising demand for the materials. Understand that Kazakhstan has deposits of 90% of the elements of the periodic table. The country already supplies uranium and titanium globally. It also holds 2% of the world's nickel reserves. Kazakhstan, however, is yet to tap into its deposits of lithium, but exploration is underway. Meanwhile, this year, so far, the number of issued licenses is 487 compared to 397 for all of last year. An AI-based early warning system is helping reduce death risk in hospitalized patients. Chartwatch, an AI-based system developed by a team of researchers led by an Indian origin scientist, identifies hospitalized patients who are at the risk of rapid health deterioration. Chartwatch tracks patients' health and sends real-time alerts and daily emails to the healthcare workers. The team also created a care pathway for high-risk patients which prompted increased monitoring by nurses and enhanced communication between nurses and physicians. A nursery in Dubai is utilizing AI and technology. Children at the friendly early childhood center can be seen having conversations with a robot dog and using interactive whiteboards, sandbox and floor. Ekaterina Al-Bakri, Executive Director of the High Tech Nursery, says the idea is to combine advanced technology with traditional learning methods. The admission at the nursery, however, is not cheap. Parents will have to shelve around $21,000 as annual fee. <laughs> 